applied for a position on Bay Street and I didn't really know Bay Street. And they actually called me and said, hey, we're looking for someone in the mailroom to be a courier. And I walked in and see all these big buildings and all these important people in suits walking around. But I was so impressed. Mm -hmm. I remember the first day on, my, on the job, I actually went to Goodwill and I bought myself a suit mm -hmm. and I wore a suit to work. And my colleagues were in the mailroom were laughing at me because everybody was just like I am right now. So then I got promoted to be inside. And then I started to get educated. So I took a course at George Brown College uh, to become a law clerk. I got a call from this company, Canvas Global. Uh, they called and said, we're looking for a law clerk internally. And we'd want to know if you're interested in uh, interviewing for the position. I said, absolutely. And then I got a call from the, uh, the general counsel who said, listen, I'm going to be in the city. I would like to meet you for drinks. No, I, I don't drink. I don't know what's involved in going out to, with someone for a drink, especially when they want to talk to you about a job. You know, he asked me about my lived experiences, right? Where are you from? How do you get to Canada? Um, tell me about your family. I didn't know that you should hide those things. So I talk about my life in Jamaica. I talk about my life in Canada. I talk about my mailroom job. I talk about all the different things that made me the person that I am, that brought me to him. And those things really impressed him. And as a result of that, at the end of the, 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 the drinks, he said, I want to offer you a job. And I was like, wow, I was absolutely afford. I didn't ask him how much, I didn't, I just said, done, I'm in. I also met this woman at the time and uh, we got married be uh, before I started Global. My wife is from a very small town in Canada. Um, and there's no black people in that town. And, uh, and, and here she is, a 19 year old girl, just got married to this Jamaican man. And uh, you know, I was 21 years old. I wanted to take on more opportunities. And I applied to this company called CABC Mellon um, and, and I was very successful in the job. And, and then I got recruited, this, this company called George's a Shareholder. We had the best year ever that year, the mm -hmm. best year. And, uh, and I became this, you know, I love this job. I loved it. And I started to come up with ideas and how we can be better. I started to pitch them on this idea and they said, no, we're not going to do it. And I go, you know what? I'm leaving this firm and I'm going to set up my own company and I'm going to do exactly what I think the market is going to want. And I set up Kingsdale Advisors in, 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 uh, in June 2003. And the whole concept behind Kingsdale Advisors is that we're not going to replicate the Georgia's business model. We're going to go and we're going to recruit people from outside and we're going to bring them in and we're going to train them to be advisors in this in niche space of proxy solicitation. And then all of a sudden people start to go, hey, we want to hire this guy. And my first mandate was from a company that I worked with a few years before that, uh, I helped the CEO get this amazing stock option plan approved that was just shouldn't have approved. And I was able to convince the investors as to why it makes sense for them to approve this plan. And this man never forgot. Wheaton River Minerals and I Am Gold announced a merger and I wanted to get that deal and I couldn't get the deal because they go, you're too small. We're gonna go to Georgia because they're the biggest in the, in the country. And one of the lawyers I work with said, you know, let me give Ian Telfer a call, the CEO of Wheaton River, and uh, convince him that because of the work you did at Georgeson, you should get this shot on this merger. He called Ian Telfer. Ian said, yes, we want that guy. He's aggressive. He's, he's one of us. And, uh, and they hired me to do that deal. And that deal changed the picture of the company. And then we start to, we became the go-to firm for mining transactions in Canada. Every single mining deals would come to our firm because of the work I did on that deal. And then we start to see activist investors coming into the market and then companies start to hire us and we start to win and they kept on hiring us. And, uh, and that's really how Kingsdale was built and we built this amazing reputation that we still have to this day.